just got done putting this winch on my Jeep. It's a 13,500 pound rug cell winch. I bought it after looking at lots of Jeeps. Money really wasn't an object. I could have bought the most expensive. I could have bought the cheapest. Um, I know that back in the day when I used to off-road a lot more, Warren was pretty much the standard. If you didn't have a Warren, you didn't have a four-wheel drive. But, you know, things seem to have changed over the years and other manufacturers make stuff just as good. Um, have to excuse the dogs barking. Anyways, so, um, looking at all kinds of winches, cheap to most expensive. Even went and looked at the Harbor Freights and I decided on this one after reading a lot of reviews. Not really a lot of YouTube videos on it, but a lot of people seem to like it and you know, I ended up buying it from Amazon at a really good price. And I know that, you know, Amazon is bad about people buying stuff or people doing reviews on stuff that didn't actually buy it, but all these were valid uh, verified buyers so this is the 13,500 pound winch um, it does use a synthetic rope it took me about mm, an hour to put it in on my 2011 JK Jeep and I'll go ahead and show that to you This is uh, my Jeep. This is the mounted winch. I still need to tension the line, which I'm actually getting ready to do right now as we speak. I have the remote hooked up to the top. Haven't even unwrapped the uh, cord. I just made sure that it worked in and out. It's got a really solid engage and disengage on this side. And this, uh, this is a Dyneema rope. And uh, probably gonna paint, paint, I'm probably going to paint the fairway to actually match the Jeep or maybe go with black. To be honest with you, this is the uh, Angry Bird front end. And uh, I kind of think it looks like it's got lipstick lips now. So I might actually keep it red. Uh, I may actually go with the black. Come with the yellow uh, hook there on the end. Uh, I believe it's 90 feet of lead. Rugcell.com. I'll put some more specs up with this. Really easy to install. It was basically hook up a few wires for the controller, run them into the battery box, um, relay, and everything's going into the top. I did like the way. It's using almost like a music cord connector at the top. I can't even remember what those are called now. And uh, it has a rubber stopper that actually goes down in the hole. So keeps water from getting into it. Um, the hardest part about the whole entire installation, installation was getting these covers over these bolts. I still never could get that one on all the way. And I don't have them all the way around the bottom the way they should be, but ain't gonna worry about it. Um, so let me drag this out. And I don't have no camera tripod with me, so we're just gonna have to walk it. So basically, what I gotta do is I gotta pull this all the way, literally, all the way out, all 90 feet of it. I have a tree protector. Man, these are so much easier to pull than uh, old metal ones like I'm used to using. I do have a tree protector in my hand, which kind of makes me pulling this up any farther. About nearly impossible. I should be, I walked it off to make sure I could get to this tree up here I was going to use to attach to the tension this. Should be running out. Ah, I see the red there now. There was a tree I thought I was going to attach to, and look. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm going to have to attach to the one behind it now. 
So uh, let me get this set up and I'll bring you right back. All hooked up and ready to go. But I do have to pull in about six or 10 feet of slack. And I can't hold the phone and operate the controls at the same time. And I don't have a phone mount with me. So uh, just trust me on it. not having an issue with the winch but what I am having an issue with is with the way that I hook this up and I'm kind of pulling it not in a straight line so my rope is actually kind of all collecting on one side of the winch and I did that because that was the closest tree and I should have known better but I'm gonna have to hook to another tree so that I can get this pulled on there correctly so I'll pull up a little bit uh, I'll attach to a tree that's more in a straight line. Let me be right back. Alright, this time it's going to be way better because the tree is straight line with the truck. I had to move the truck forward a few feet. Get this where you can see. I've got a tree saver, a D-ring. Now I'll have to go up there and fix the slack. And by the way, this takes a long time because you can only use the winch for 15 seconds and then you got to let it rest for like a minute. Um, if you just straight winch it all the way from there to here, that winch would be red hot by the time you get here. And that's not anything specific with that winch, that's all winches. This winch actually isn't getting hot. I mean, it's not even getting warm. It's about 50 degrees outside today. It's cold enough where if it was getting hot, you stick your hand on it and you would know. I just wanted to show you, so, you know, by redoing the winch or retensioning it from a second point that was straighter allows the spool to actually spool the rope uh, evenly. That's what I wanted to show you.
Now the other thing is to most winches, they will pull faster initially, and then they will pull slower the longer that you are on the power. So uh, I basically wanted to walk up here plus to give it a couple more extra minutes or seconds. But now I can get started on this. Kind of see now how everything's set up. And I basically have the Jeep in neutral. So that way the full weight of the Jeep is being pulled um, with no resistance. One more thing I forgot about until I was just sitting up there. This came with two wireless remotes also. You push this button in on the top of left right there. It looks like there's two of them. You push that in and hold it for a few seconds. Then your in and out buttons will work. So that's me from all the way here. That's the first one. Here's the second one. I'm only going to do it for a couple of seconds because I was about the end of my 15 second pull there. That is pretty cool. Now maybe no standing in water and mud waist deep. Yeah, I definitely think this is well worth the money. I'll, uh, I, like I said, I bought this off of Amazon. They got some excellent reviews there. This is a 13,500 pound winch. I'll uh, leave a link in the description. And super simple to put on or to, to actually install. Basically, I brought it out here. I put the fair lead on, which is just a bolt, a, a washer. Then through the back is another lock washer and a nut on each side. There is a four nuts, four bolts, four lock washers, and four flat washers holds this winch onto your bumper. This has, your controller has two clips on the front. I scratched that myself, it didn't come that way. There's two clips here, two Phillips screws on the back. You basically color code the wires, the bigger wires, black, yellow, red. There's a smaller black wire you can see right here in your ground. That goes on the bottom right there. You see that nut sticking down? And then you got your primary positive wire. So your big black wire and your big red wire, the longest ones, goes up to your battery. That's all there is to it. Really simple to hook up. I'm sure I'll go ahead and speed this up. I ain't gonna make you guys watch this in real time. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and get her pulled all the way up here. Probably will look pretty cool anyways with the Jeep about to run over you. There probably is one more thing I should say. This is a Dyneema cable. If this cable was wire, there is no way I would walk as close to it as I am. Uh, steel wire, if it breaks, it holds all of that tension and it can cut you in half. A rope, when it breaks, most of the time goes limp, like a fishing line goes limp when you break it off. But a steel cable, mm, there's no way I would stand next to that without a uh, safety drop or a safety weight on that line. Um, with the with the uh, non-steel cables you generally don't have to have your safety weight in the middle 
because just like a fishing line, they just go limp when they snap. I know there's gonna be people say, oh, you're wrong. Well, have you ever seen one break? Cause I have. These are known as dynamic lines and I do a lot of rock crawling and search and rescue and that kind of stuff. I have seen them break. So that's much better. I really can't go any farther. So uh, basically this is a manual remote. I'm gonna let the tension off the line. And then uh, disconnect and get it spooled up. Another thing I forgot about, it also comes with winch cover. I probably don't really have anywhere I can set this down where you could see me install it. There we go. So yeah, I definitely think this is well worth the money. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, I know all kinds of people are probably going to ask. But yeah, it's, uh, tires are almost as tall as I am. So now we just got to go get muddy. <laughs>